How's it, Wayne? Morning. Wayne just arrived, lucky me. So we're gonna try and fire up. Oh crap, pot today. Let's see if it works. <laughs> American vehicle, Japanese tools, German beer, <laughs> um, South African accent. <laughs> okay, I just want to check that we've got power on the coil, coming through to the coil when we switch ignition on, which should be this one here. So should I switch it on? Just give me a minute. Yeah. Gotta find an earth. Okay, give me ignition. Okay. 13.4 volts. Yeah, that's good. That's plenty. This battery is full. <laughs> full. <laughs> Very full. I just had it on the charger all night. Okay, so we've got um, power coming through to the coil. That's a good start. Yeah. Hopefully my uh, my ignition module for the electronic distributor is wired correctly. Now yeah, let's get the air filter off so we can just throw a little bit of... Uh... <laughs> if you can try and prime the carburetor, it would be good. Okay. Yeah. Well, how do you want to do that? Mm. Well, I've got lots of battery power. Do you still want to prime it? No, we can swing it. We, we got fuel in the tank. Yeah. My nice new fuel tank is already dusty. <laughs> <laughs> but we've just put in 20 liters of petrol. Or gas. gas. Right, we're just going to top up the coolant. So we, we, I still don't know. I've never actually had the start button. Swing the starter, so we're going to find that out soon. Alright, so it'll be the first time for that button to actually be used. I tested it on, mm. the, on the solenoid, so it does pull the solenoid, click, ah. click. But it's, I've never had it send power through to the actual starter. Alright. I will say it is enough. We must speak English, these people don't understand uh. Afrikaans. <laughs> English. English. <laughs> Ish. And my English is terrible. Yours is better than mine. <laughs> okay, we think we're there. We, are. we need to get fuel through to the car from the from the tank. Yeah. It might take a while. I don't know. Let's just crank it and see if we, it'll, uh, if it'll prime that way. Yeah, no. Do it. Um, let's give it a shot. These mechanical pumps usually prime quickly. Usually. Wayne, show them that liquid gold. <laughs> this. Anybody want to sniff? Five bucks only. <laughs> Five bucks only. Special for today. <laughs> All right. Let's try again. All right, try now. Oh, uh, that means no fire. I'm starting to think the same. Let me just see. You didn't even choke? No. One more try? Yeah. No fire. I think we got a fire problem. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna have to figure out where and why. We had fire. Didn't we have this thing? We had this thing on the test bench, eh? Huh? Yeah, but I rewired it now, eh? So anything's possible. Hey, wait. Yeah. yeah. You bloody plank. <laughs> it's not HTV, baby. It's <laughs> not I mean, look here. <laughs> Nothing connected. <laughs> Where is it? Yeah. Okay, so I've got <laughs> this HD lead back on. That'll help a lot, won't it? <laughs> now, so Wayne's feelings are so hurt now, he's come off to make some coffee. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to wipe off a little bit of the dust. <laughs> so we can shine a bit more. <laughs> How much sugar do Two sugars, please. Okay. Yeah. So we will just sit here on my oh. pure leather seat. <laughs> Drink some coffee and I will uh, console out. <laughs> <We're waiting here. laughs> so let's hope that that sorts out the problem. Um, and it's not my ignition module might also oh. be messed up. I don't know, but I did try and do it. I'm pretty sure that according to the, the diagram. Okay. It's not complex, it's just four wires. Well, that's one of the simplest modules I've seen. Normally mine are six or seven. Yeah, it's just four wires. Two goes to the dizzy. 
One goes to negative one coil, one goes to positive one coil. So we're having a nice hot day again today. Oh, they say it's going to be what? 27? 30? I think it's going to be going to the 30s, eh? Mm. That's 30 degrees Celsius. Yeah. So a lot of the guys watching is sitting in, in Canada and in the States where it's like all white at the moment, so they must be pissed all with us. <laughs> <laughs> but when they get summer, then we're going to have our cold, cold times. We don't get that I mean, cold. You were, cold yeah, you were in the States in, in, in summertime, man. Eh? Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. so you, you never saw winter. the snow. Where did you go again? Uh, South Dakota. South Dakota? No. What did you do there? <laughs> Just driving trucks and stuff, or farming or something. What driving truck. Driving trucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice cup of coffee, eh? Not bad, not bad. <laughs> I like not the touch Not bad for a mechanic <laughs> who missed the HTV on the show. I think this will be the first cup of coffee I have in your workshop with a bit of cremori. Yeah, normally when it comes to visit, I've only got, I haven't got any milk in the shop, so um, <laughs> the coffee's black. So today he brought a little tin of this like plastic milk with powdery <laughs> creamer, it's called, eh? Creamer, it's, it's not yeah, like it's milk, creamer. it's like a coffee, coffee creamer. Mm. Mm. So now we've got um, some instant coffee with plastic milk in it. Pff, well, it's well, yes, okay, it's, mm. it's, it's caffeine. It, it, it takes the edge of that bitterness away. <laughs> Just that bit. Which bitterness is this now? The bitterness of the coffee or the bitterness of the HD? <laughs> hey. Clearly we're not in a rush, right? Or we're obviously enjoying the weather. We take, we're kind of taking off with pay. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. No, it's tea time, right? It's, it's tea, tea time. time. Well, well, officially it's now tea time. You know, back in the day, long, long, long time ago, I actually made biodiesel. Mm. Mm. I was driving a Mercedes diesel van and I made biodiesel, it was working very well. I used to drive the van on the biodiesel. When mm. you come past, it smells like a fish and chip shop. But it was, it was fine, it was awesome. <laughs> and then, um, then the price of, because you basically used, used, cooking, used oil. cooking oil. Old cooking oil, yeah. Old cooking oil. Yeah. And then the price of, I mean, then you couldn't get old cooking oil for free anymore. I no. started selling it. That's and right. the price on that went so crazy. It wasn't worth it anymore. It wasn't worth it anymore. <laughs> exactly. Ah. So then I stopped it. This guy's here now talking about doing like LP gas conversions on the F1 on the trucks. Yeah. You're running your truck on LP gas. Yes. I know, I know very little about it. I know you get these little forklifts and that run on the gas. Run yes. on LP gas, liquid propane gas. No, and, that, and um, it works. It works. But uh, yeah, I've heard of folks running trucks, even V8s on LP gas. Um, Unfortunately, I never learned how to... Blah, blah, blah. Uh, luckily, the camera died while we were talking a lot of shit there. <laughs> so luckily. you poor, so didn't have to listen to all our stories. <laughs> so uh, we're going to give it another shot? Yeah. I'm yeah. just going to crank it. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Uh, that's, now we can talk There we go. <laughs> Thank you. Not yet, eh? Okay, that's a bit of a ish. Uh huh. Oh, there it comes. There it comes. Are you seeing fuel in the in the? In no, the but hang on. That's very foamy and dirty. Is it? Hmm. Oh, you know what? It could be. It could be diesel in the line. Okay. Yeah, one little thing I didn't think about, this truck used to have a diesel engine in. That's right. And I never replaced the fuel line going back. <laughs> so there must be a little bit of diesel in that one. So we're just going to crank the engine. <laughs> but then, um, yeah, just to yeah. get that fuel out of the, or that diesel <laughs> out of the fuel line. <laughs> right. That should be Bump good. Bump is working well. Yeah. No, we're doing good. It looks a bit horrible, eh? <laughs> do you think that's enough? I do. Did it become clear? Yes, it did. Okay. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. I want that shit in my engine, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Let's give it another shot. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Almost. Do you want to choke? No. Well, then you got to be there with a the throttle. Are you scared of it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, go. Touch accelerate and she dies. Don't touch it then. <laughs> Why? Why do we have that? Understand? We changed nothing. We didn't mess with timing or anything. Right. So okay, between the fabricator and the barefoot mechanic, <laughs> we can only think that there's dirt in the carburetor. Right? Yep. Could have been from shit in that line. Could have been. Yes. Right? Yes. Possible. So I think we're gonna strip off the carburetor and clean it up. Check mm. it through. Open it up. Check go through. It can do with a cleaning anyway. Well, that's I mean, it is not a new carburetor, we just got a second hand engine. <laughs> Although it was running very clean on the bench. It was running awesome on the bench. So I don't know, you know, we've changed nothing. We haven't messed with the timing. We haven't messed with the carburetor. And now I'm just using my little bit of common sense. And it could be dirt from that fuel line. Right. Let's take the thing off. Yeah. So I know absolutely nothing about V8s or holy carburetors. <laughs> I know a little bit about welding and grinding. So I am recording this, Wayne, just in case we can't remember what goes where. But you need okay. to focus now, my man. <laughs> right. <laughs> Have you ever worked on these carburetors before? No. Oh, dear. This is the first time. Oh, dear. <laughs> Are you a four-cylinder mechanic? <laughs> Most of my life, yes. And maybe and then, a few sixes. Oh, uh, yeah, a few sixes. Okay, well, then we're both learning here. Yeah. yeah if all, uh, worst case scenario, if all else fails, we'll go find an expert somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, if you're looking at the state of what's going on in here, it's just an absolute mess, eh? There's a lot of dirt in here. <laughs> yeah, uh, very fine, rusty dust. Yeah, and the carburetor is dirty. And I think what actually happened is we sucked some bad fuel in there from that fuel line. From your old line. So yeah. the problem is definitely, yeah. Mm. So we need to strip the carburetor. I'm going to have to find a gasket set somewhere, a kit or whatever you call it. Gasket kit, yeah. 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 And we're going to clean this thing up properly. I'm seriously pissed off with myself, to say the least. I should have just replaced that fuel line going back to the fuel tank. Or at least I should have blown it out with some air. Now oh, I've got a picking dirty carburetor, which is not the worst, but I need a new gasket kit for this holly. And that's going to take me at least a week to get. I need to order it from a big city. Um, so yeah, I guess that's how it goes. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching my carrying-ons here in the forest. Appreciate it. Please uh, subscribe, like, comment and all that good stuff. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one. <laughs>